All right, so let's get into making Ken Burns style videos. Okay, so I'm at mytechbadges.com. I'm obviously at the Ken Burns video page because on there, I scroll down and I can see I have the actual script that we're going to be using, okay? So the first step I want to tell you is that you've got to write a script, okay? You just can't go into this all willy-nilly and just like, I'm going to make myself a video. You actually need to have a script. Now, the cool thing is a, a, a video, especially a video of, of a pretty good length, doesn't actually take a lot of words, okay? So um, I could actually make this even shorter. I've done shorter uh, sentences that actually make for a long video because people in videos are really, your, your viewers are there for the imagery, okay? And they want to have some, some information, but they're really there to see the images, and then your voice over top is just kind of like uh, a little icing on the cake. Okay, so you can see I have my script here. So your step one, when you do this on your own, you've got to write yourself a script. And then when you have the script done, you've got to go through, and then you can see at the beginning of each one of these, I've picked out what I'm going to use as my search in Google Images to find something to go with what I'm saying here, okay? So like the Roman god Vulcan here. Now I'm just guessing. When I go do the search, I might have to refine that or change that in a way. But anyhow, that's that has everything we're ready to go with here is that we have a script and we have kind of an idea of what images we're going to use here. We're going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like we're going to do an eight image video so this is gonna be great okay so let's we've got that figured out next thing we're going to do is go ahead and watch iMovie watch iMovie go ahead and launch iMovie if you don't have it down here in your dock just go up and, and search for it up here in iMovie and uh, just let me continue yes everything's good and as you know I make a gazillion of videos for you guys so they're gonna show up in my iMovie library you're not gonna have this many in your library well maybe you're a famous youtuber or something you're going to have lots of stuff in your library. But I, um, uh, most times you just have just a few things. A lot of that is because of the limited space on your uh, MacBooks. So you've got to make the video and then clear off the video, right? So that you've got to space there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, click on Create New. If you're not seeing a page like this, make sure you're in the Projects tab. We've got three different tabs across the top here. Just make sure you're in Projects. I'm going to tap on or click on Create. Click once on movie and it's going to create our new movie. So one of the first things we need to do here is I'm going to just go to titles and I like just to use the centered one here. I'm going to drag a centered title down and let me just go back to our uh, browser Safari. It looks like we're going to call this one Volcano Facts. Okay, so Volcano Facts is going to be the name of our iMovie here. So Volcano Facts. And if you've worked with me before, you know that I hate just the default font, this Gil Sands bold that it comes with. I'm going to change that to something a little more, um, just a little more fresh. Ooh, I like that one there. Turn off outlining. Do you see how that just changed that? It had outlining turned on, and I turned it off, and it just cleaned it up, so it looks really, really nice. Volcano facts. Okay, so that's what I'm going with. Why don't you just follow along and do the exact same thing for this one, and then when you do your own video, to earn the badge, you can pick whatever font you want. But I'm going with this Avenir Next Regular. Well, let's try Medium. Let's just maybe... Oh, Medium is a little better. Medium is a little better. And that's what I'm using as my font. I click on the check mark up here. And now we have our title slide. Okay, so we've got that. Now we need a slide at the end that is going to have all of our credits on it. So let me just scroll through here. Where is that credit one that has all... The text on there. Here's scrolling credits here. That might be what we need to put all of our um, photo links here. I think that's the one we're going to have to use here. So, so let's go ahead into here. Scrolling credits. I'm going to drag that down. That's going to be our last slide. And I'm going to just say uh, what up here for the titles. Photos used. I uh, like to make sure we change that to our medium that we like. Turn off the outlining so it looks like that. Okay, we're going to obviously add to that a lot as we go on. So, so we've got that ready to go. Okay, in the next video, we're going to start looking for those, uh, those videos. Oh, let's go ahead and save this. Sorry, let's go uh, click on projects up here. That's going to open up the naming window. 
and we're going to call this a volcano facts and uh, and then put uh, just put your name on there so I'm just gonna put Brad F. You can always just use your initial. This is just so when your teacher grades it, your teacher also might have the naming protocol for you saying you must call your video this. But for this case, let's just call it Volcano Facts by, and then your name on it, uh, your first name and your last initial. And now we've got it named. Okay, next video, come back and we will start uh, looking for images. Make this thing look pretty.